Brian, do you have an offer on the table from the Jets? Is that yeah, I'm not going to get into the details of that. We've had a lot of discussions. You know, I've known Joe for a long time, and they've been really good discussions, really you know, cordial, and, and um, we'll continue to have those conversations, and hopefully we can come to agreement sooner than later. A Lambo legend is on the verge of leaving the place he's called home for nearly two decades. That's right. Reports have come out that Aaron Rodgers is most likely going to kick off the 23-24 season in a Jets uniform. And I think it's fair to say that the AFC East is officially stacked because this move alone turns the 7-10 New York Jets into championship contenders. I mean, if any team were to add Aaron Rodgers, I think it turns them into contenders. He is a four-time MVP, and he's been winning those MVPs for nearly a decade plus at this point, with that first time being all the way back in 2011 where he led the Packers to a 14-1 record in the games that he played in. And the year before that, Rodgers led the Packers to a Super Bowl for the first time since the Brett Favre era. Now, Rodgers didn't win the, his first MVP because the media loved him or because fans were drooling all over him, although some of them probably were. He won it because he threw for a near record-breaking 45 touchdown passes at the time. Although, I should mention that Drew Brees actually outdid him that season and threw for 46. Now, both accomplishments wild. And Brees threw for 800 more yards than Aaron Rodgers. Now, Aaron Rodgers did lead in almost every other statistical category, with the Packers legend only throwing six interceptions that season while having an 83.8 QB rating. And that kind of production and level of play is nearly impossible to replicate. And yet, he did it again in 2014 when he won his second MVP. Now, this time, MVP voting was more decisive with Rodgers only coming away with 60-ish percent of the votes, but he still won it. Now, as for his other two MVPs, I don't really want to go into as much depth because he won his third one, what, just three seasons ago at this point in the 2020 year, like COVID was there, but whatever, didn't stop Aaron Rodgers from winning an MVP. And his fourth MVP actually came two years ago, back in 2021, so they should be pretty fresh in the memory bank, let's be real. All right, enough about the man's past. The real question is, what does this tr potential trade do for the New York Jets? And how high are the expectations for the Jets going into the season? Now, we have to remember that although Aaron has just won two MVPs and is a fantastic player who constantly balls out on a week-to-week -week basis, he's also 39 years old. Now, I'm not saying he's going to fall off because he's old, but... I mean, he's currently the oldest starting QB in the league. And if there's one person that's undefeated in sports, it's father time. Plus, since Brady's retired, you know, Aaron Rodgers is what, like two, three years older than everybody else? I mean, if you look at the guys near his age range, you start seeing a pattern. I'm talking like Matt Ryan, Flacco, Andy Dalton. What do all of those guys have in common? Well, they're essentially backup QBs whose careers are being held by a threat at this point. And those are just the quarterbacks that are still left. I mean, other great QBs who are near the same age as Aaron are out of the league or have been out of the league for like, what, four or five plus years. I'm talking Jay Cutler, Vince Young, and Alex Smith, but Alex Smith was kind of a freak accident, so we'll take him out. So is age a concern for the Jets when they're looking at Aaron? Yeah, it, it is, but honestly, he's not. He's probably not going to fall off. So in the likely scenario that Aaron Rodgers doesn't fall off, what? where do the Jets go from here? Because they have a roster full of talented and amazing athletes. I'm talking om nearly all 53 guys are absolute studs. So can Aaron put them over the top in just one season? I know I said they're championship contenders, and I truly believe that. But to be champions, you got to make the playoffs. And to make the playoffs, you got to you gotta win the division. You don't have to, but you should. The problem with winning the division is that they're in one of the most difficult divisions in the league. I mean, before, I mean, just excluding the Jets, you got the Buffalo Bills who have Josh Allen and are going to be con contenders every single season they have him. And then you got the Miami Dolphins who, again, they're another team with a really, really good roster and an iffy QB uh, big question mark at the QB position. I mean, if two is healthy, then yes, 
Miami is a huge threat to the Jets. Honestly, they could they could they could have beat. Let's be real. They could have beat the Bills in the playoffs if Tua played. Now another and the other team, the Patriots. You know, can you ever count Bill Belichick out? No. Could you see Bill Belichick in last place in a division? You can't. You can't. That's not. That's not in him. That's not in his DNA. Bill Belichick doesn't get last place. So you got Bill Belichick. You've got Josh Allen, and you've got Tyreek Hill, and all the studs in Miami. My, I mean, Miami just got Jalen Ramsey. Okay, so Miami, they're all, all three of them are scared. And Jets, they're the championship contenders with Rodgers, but they gotta get through that division. Now, I think, now, here's my quick analysis. They split the series with Miami, right? Uh, it's possible that they beat the Pats both times, and maybe, maybe they steal a game from the Bills. Now, if that happens, that's like, what? Um, they sweep three, four wins right there. Four wins on the season. And then it all depends on who they're playing. I haven't looked at their schedule, but it all depends on who they're playing and if Rodgers can stay healthy, of course. If they make the playoffs, I think Aaron Rodgers has enough experience to lead these young guys to a championship run. And speaking of the young guys, we've got guys like Sauce Gardner, Garrett Wilson, and Brees Hall. All, like, what? All three of them were rookies last year? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure all three of them were rookies. Speaking of sauce, don't even get me started on the at, like the, the pitching campaign he made for Rodgers to come to the New York Jets. I mean, first he said he'd burn the cheese head, and then he actually went ahead and did it. It was like a little, what, he put it in like a fire. Garrett Wilson was there. Brees Hall was there. Everyone wants Aaron Rodgers. So team chemistry, I don't think is going to be a problem. Plus, the Jets did bring in Aaron's guy in Alan Lazard. I'm pretty sure he got signed to what? The Jets on a three-year deal for 40-ish million, if I'm remembering correctly. It was a while ago. Now, I originally made the video because I saw Aaron Rodgers go on the Pat McAfee show and say this. At this point, as I sit here, you know, I think since Friday, uh, I made it clear that my intention was to play and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. Okay. Um, and after he said all that, I just assumed, oh, wow, this trade is bound to happen, right? But it's been, what, like two, three weeks, and it hasn't gone through, right? So the big worry for the Jets is if this trade with Rodgers doesn't happen, what is plan B? Because do they just go back to Zach Wilson, which I don't think anybody on the team wants to do, but all the bread and ring QBs are signed, and the only QBs really left for the Jets to go after if this trade doesn't fall through, which it's seeming more and more likely like it isn't until draft day when, you know, it's kind of like a deadline for the Jets and the Packers to make a move because they're really fighting over what picks to give up. So draft day makes sense as a deadline. But anyway, if this trade doesn't go through, the Jets are going to have to move to a rookie QB in the early rounds. And they already did that with Sam Darnold, what, like five years ago and Zach Wilson two years ago. So... They're not the best at drafting QBs, is all I'm saying. That's, that's it. So let's just hope, for the sake of Jets fans around the world, that this trade gets pulled through. And for the sake of people who are tired of seeing Aaron Rodgers all over the media. God, this guy. Get off my timeline. Uh, but that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, catch y'all later. Deuces.